Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching another one of these. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about surrendering our hearts because this is really the hardest part of, of your walk with God. It's giving Him those innermost parts of your heart. So let's, here we go. Um, so the hardest part uh, in this portion, it's the most life-changing, is surrendering our hearts, right? So what does that mean? It means allowing God to have our hearts and everything that is attached to our hearts. Uh, because God is love, the first thing that he does when he comes in to our relationship with him is he begins to love our hearts. And he wants to love the places that are wounded, the places that have been damaged, the places that we hold for ourselves, the places where um, we, we have habits and patterns and things that we've been doing and walking in, you know, our whole life. And then we come to Jesus and he sets us free. So now we're free to give up our hearts. So it, it's a shame to stay where we are and not let God begin to move. So you got to let God begin to move on this heart. Um, he begins with our hearts because it's the space that changes our mind. If he can have this piece here, it begins to infect and change everything. He'll transform our soul and he'll give us new strength. Like the Bible says, uh, uh, give him your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Let him have the whole thing. And so when he loves our hearts, he loves out all of those places, even the wrong belief systems, all the winds and waves of doctrine we've been through as we've been walking with God. There's so many things deposited into us that's a destructive theology, things we need to just let go of and get back to the basics. And this is one of the basic things of walking with God is just surrendering your heart. And so he wants to love us into breakthrough. And um, so why is this so difficult? It's because a lot of times... Our identity is in the wounded places. It's in the difficulties. It's in the patterns. It's in the habits. We, we get our identity from these things as we've been walking uh, with God. And we've been, a lot of times, we've been in places where, look, they mean well, or they're just stuck in old patterns. They're stuck in old things that are, you know, 50, 60, 80 year old revelations that God's already moved on from. And so we've got to get those things out of our hearts and let him come in to love them and move us on. And then um, as he begins to do this, the enemy comes to us and he tells us this, you can't surrender. He tells us it's too painful to surrender. You don't have what it takes. He wants to discourage you for letting God have all of your heart. And so he's going to sit there and he's going to try to lie to you that you can't do it, but you can do it. It's the hardest part of this, but it's the portion that will transform you the most. Um, and the truth is that the Son has set us free, right? And the Bible says we're truly free. So we now have the choice, the power. We have everything we need to decide to let God into this heart. Um, we can truly surrender. Uh, Jesus said this, if anyone wants to come after me, let him first deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. All right. Okay, Jesus, I'm, I want to deny myself and take up my cross. What does that mean? Well, what was Jesus doing when he took up the cross? He was surrendering to the will of the Father, even unto death. He surrenders all the way. God wants us to do the same thing, to surrender to the will of the Father, surrender our hearts, our desires, our goals, our aspirations, our families, everything about us. Give it up and let God come in and start loving you. And if you allow God to love your heart, you are going to be changed and transformed from the inside out that will begin to change every area of your life. Um, you can surrender, so don't believe the lie of the enemy that you can't, that you, you can't do it, I just can't do it, everybody else can do it but me. No, everyone can and will do it. And you've been set free to a life of surrender to be transformed from glory to glory. So do it this week and just begin to pray, God, teach me how to surrender my heart. Sometimes we need some just some, some downloads from the Holy Spirit. But if you spend personal time with God, he's going to come and invade that place to love it, and it'll be the best decision you'll ever make. Don't believe the lie you can't surrender because you can do it. So give him your heart this week. Let him in. Thanks for watching.